Hi guys, it's Shannon. Welcome back to another Quick Tip Tuesday. Today I have a question from Pamela Hammett. She asks, I've heard you say Mod Podge your stencils at times versus no others, so should we Mod Podge? Well actually, I get that question a lot too. And sometimes in some of my tutorials you will see me actually using Mod Podge on top of my stencils before I actually paint onto my stencils. And the reason I do that is to actually put a clear coat down that seals the edges of the stencil to the board and you will actually get less paint bleed that way. So when I actually am using Mod Podge to do that on my stencils, it's not usually on new wood. So like pine that I use for a lot of my new wood signs, I won't use Mod Podge because it's already a pretty smooth and even surface from sanding. However, if you're gonna be using reclaimed wood or pallet wood, something that has a very uneven surface, then I like to go ahead and use Mod Podge on there because it will seal in some of those grooves and give you a flat surface. And the great thing about Mod Podge is most of them, you'll have to check on the label, will dry clear. So you're not gonna see this if it were to bleed so much as if you were to get a paint bleed. So this is the Mod Podge that I use most of all whenever I am sealing my stencils and it is just the matte, Mod Podge matte. If you guys have any questions for me, leave them in the comments below. Maybe I'll feature you on an upcoming Quick Tip Tuesday. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I do DIY tutorials every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying this Quick Tip Tuesday series that I've rolled out this year. So thanks so much for watching guys. I'll see you in my next tutorial. Bye.